Welcome back to Web Search and TV. My name is Justina Wilna, and today I've got with me Viktor Tarnavsky, the head of Yandex Metrica, and we'll be talking about some recent developments to this analytics tool. Hi, Viktor. Hi, Justine. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Many marketers in Europe are familiar with another analytics tool provided by Google. Can you tell me a bit more about Yandex Metrica? What makes it different? Uh, so, yeah, it changed a few years ago, maybe two years, and for now we uh, really have, have a lot of clients in Europe and other countries. And uh, the most, the strongest part, when we can compete with, well, let's say, Google Analytics, it's our behavioral analytics. That's uh, uh, the way when you, uh, the features uh, which help you understand how users use your website. And uh, uh, in a behavioral analytics, we have a session recording tool, which just allow you to watch a video, how your users use your website, and also different heat maps, click maps. And also, uh, the strong part of Yandex Metrica is that uh, it works with no limits uh, on amount of data. We have no sampling, or you always can disable that. And everything is for free. So just free product with, without any limits and with strong behavioral analytics. And can you tell us a bit more about some recent developments that happened in Yandex Metrica? Oh, yeah, with pleasure. Um, so recently we have launched our new session recordings tool. It's session recordings 2.0, which supports personalization and mobile versions and has, uh, we also show if user use an ad block on your website, because it's really important to know, because it's in, in some cases it can broke your website. And also we working deeper, uh, deeper in a user-centric approach. So we develop more points about interacting with the business. Uh, so we do a lot of work with the offline, uh, like uh, offline conversions we launched just uh, uh, two months ago. And uh, so now you can upload your offline conversions or in calls on your website and we'll see the whole picture about your customers. Okay, this sounds really interesting. Can you tell us a bit more about that? How can you upload these offline conversions? What are the methods there? Uh, so uh, if you have some conversions on your website, for example, but uh, you, do, you do not know exact information about your conversion, you can upload that from your CRM system, from your backend system, from your backend. And uh, usually uh, it, it's very helpful because uh, on your back end, you have all information about this transaction, like how many uh, user paid, how, what the taxes was, uh, and what the delivery cost, and these details. And also we support calls. Uh, so you know, the calls, uh, we have an integration with call tracking systems. So you can just go to the call tracking system, just press a button, integrate with the Yandex Metrica, and all the data will be uploaded, and you will see your performance uh, in terms of calls on your website. Okay. And is that just for Russian customers or uh, are there any no, restrictions it's available. for European it, customers? Yeah, it, it's available to any customers in European, Russian, anybody. Okay, that sounds really interesting. And in terms of the session recording tool, uh, are there any restrictions there or you can record as many videos uh, as so you want? So we, uh, we expanded our limits on the session recordings uh, a few years ago, about two years. Uh, it was uh, 1,000 sessions per day, but for now it's 100,000 sessions per day per website. So it's quite high limit in most cases for most clients. Uh, you will just get all the sessions uh, on your website. Uh, and if you're higher than that, uh, you will get some uh, random sample of the sessions of size more than at least more than 100,000 of sessions recorded. Okay, that's quite a lot. Yeah, that's quite a lot and a lot of spaces on our hard disk drives, but we do whatever we can do to help you to understand your customer behaviors. And how does it help actually? Could you give us some examples of how people use that information that they learn from yeah, session so, recording? Yeah, so it's, uh, you know, it's a really difficult question because uh, most of our clients uh, use session recording tools like, a, uh, I don't know, TV series. They just watch every session and trying to understand what's going on, or maybe they just spend time like that. I don't know. But uh, we have, uh, we recommend to use that in a different way, and we have a lot of happy customers with that. Uh, first of all, uh, session recordings is really helpful to understand 
the general uh, user behavior on your website. So, so you just watch a few sessions, and after that you get uh, an idea of uh, how users usually use that, what the problem points in that, and uh, what what the good points and what you can optimize. And then you uh, usually will have actions to do. And another another way to use that, very helpful, is to find your uh, bad parts. Let's say uh, you have a funnel and you have users who dropped in the last stage of funnel. Uh, mm -hmm. Like they uh, put all goods on their basket and then just go away. And uh, that's where that's a segment where session recordings is really helpful because you can just watch what's going on. Uh, and usually you'll see that there, there is some kind of technical uh, mistake, let's say some button is not working, something like that. So uh, this, when session recordings uh, is very helpful on what we call a microscope level. So it's just, you have a problem, you got this microscope level, and you see and everything what's going on. Okay. Does it record forms as well, how people fill in the forms? Yes, of course, it records forms. Uh, okay. What so about all the um, data that uh, would be easy to Right, Make so people we have, recognizable. We have, right, right. So we have a protection for that. Uh, if you have a form and you have some, let's say, sensible uh, fields in this form, you always can mark them uh, as a sensible field, and okay. we will not record that. And also, you can mark some fields. Uh, also, some fields will be marked automatically. Like if it's a password field, we will not record uh, this password, or, or if it's like a credit card, we will not record the credit cards okay. like that. Okay. We even have some government sites as a clients, like government sites in different countries, not only Russia. So they use Yandex Magica and they use session recordings tool, and they just mark these fields as uh, private fields. So they d this information do not go to Yandex, and that's fine. They just see it stars and the interface, and that's good. Okay. Cross device tracking is also a new feature on Yandex Magica that we've learned recently about. Can you tell us a bit more about yeah, this option? Yeah. So uh, so. Uh, that was one of our previous developments and a uh, new feature, uh, cross-device tracking. We, uh, we try to explain how users use your website from, a, from a different devices. So uh, what we usually see for, uh, for top clients of the internet or for most of the clients in the internet or most of the websites, uh, you usually you see the same picture. On a, de on a desktop, you see some conversion rate like 2%. On a mobile version, you see low conversion rate, like a half a percent maybe, because it's kind of hard to do. And uh, for users who use a website from a, both devices, from a desktop and from a mobile, conversion rate is uh, like two or three times higher than on a desktop. Uh, it can be uh, 6%, uh, 8%, even 10%. We saw these examples. Mm -hmm. And that's how, how your mobile site and mobile part of the internet works. People tend to choose some goods uh, in the way to road or in, I don't know, uh, during the breakfast or whatever. They just choose that, choose colors, uh, choose a website uh, where to buy to and uh, use like that. And then buy on a desktop. And that's what we're trying to show in our new cross-device report. Uh, we divide all the people to these three buckets, uh, desktop users, mobile users, and uh, desktop and mobile users or cross device users, users and then shows different metrics conversion rate ever check or uh, these kind of metrics to show you uh, if you have a problem spot on your mobile or maybe you have uh, you want to boost this cross device audience uh, because this audience definitely have a better performance and how could you boost that uh, usually clients tends to have lower, uh, let's say, budget on a mobile uh, mobile traffic, and uh, so their cross-device users are really um, uh, they has a great performance, and their average check is higher. But uh, there are not so many of them because your mobile version of website has like a little bit, not not so many tra much traffic. Uh, so usually the the right way to do that is optimize your mobile website. Uh, to look good and uh, to have, a, I don't know, maybe it should be a different site, maybe it's the same site, but adaptive, and then to get some traffic on that. 
And a final question, Victor. In terms of data protection, seems to be a lot of data that Yandex Metrica is collecting about uh, the users of specific websites. Um, what do you do to make sure that you comply with local laws on that yeah, front? Yeah, so uh, we take data protection and uh, data for our clients very seriously. And uh, in the last few years, we uh, made uh, several steps to uh, to comply to all, all these legal issues in Europe uh, and in the United States. So now we have opt-out plugin, so anybody can opt out from Yandex Magica. Uh, also, uh, we have a data centers in Europe, in Finland, in Amsterdam, so your data will go not not to Russia, but to, let's say, Amsterdam, for example. And uh, that's very important to European clients. Uh, and uh, we we did not stop and we will continue to work on that. And right now we uh, have some work with the uh, legal companies in Europe to fully be fully compliant to European laws in, in that in, in all European countries. Uh, I, I hope that in this year we will solve that and we'll be fully compliant with that. Okay. Thank you very much for this interview. That was really interesting. Victor. Thank you to invited me. You're welcome.